Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to unbox the five Fox Festival and Big Fox Festival Blu-rays from Baby Metal. Um, it's finally arrived, it took a few weeks, and I must say, this, right here it is, it is really, really expensive. And there was a whole big uproar online about how expensive it is just for these Blu-rays. So I haven't even opened it yet, so I'm gonna unbox this and show you what's inside. I can't wait. Right, I have already watched a few um, clips online just so I can tell you what the footage is like and the sound and everything. But before I go into unboxing this oh, lovely package, I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about these festivals because they're quite unique to Baby Metal and to Japan. So just thought I'd tell you if you're quite new to Baby Metal or just new to kind of Japanese concerts in general, I'll just tell you what these shows are all about. So in July and August last year, they did a Five Fox Festival, and also in September on October last year, they did a big two big Fox Festivals. Right, so the Five Fox Festival is five different types of shows, and there's three each of two different ones, so I'll just tell you each one. Now these uh, shows are very unique. So the first one is the Black Fox Festival, which is males only. And then it's the Red Fox Festival, females only. The Gold Fox Festival, which is teenagers only. And then there was three silver um, fox festivals and three white fo fox festivals. The Silver Fox Festival is for elementary school um, children and people over the age of 60, so male or female. And the White Fox Festival is a dress code where you have to be dressed in corpse paint, which is basically the black and white face paint that the Kami band wear in all of their shows. So basically like a skull makeup or any kind of black and white, just kind of quite scary looking makeup. And it's that's for all ages and all genders. So the Big Fox Festivals took place in Saitama Super Arena, which they've played there before, and that um, has about... and the capacity for that is about 37,000, which is huge. And then the second one was Osaka Joe Hall, which is about 16,000. And for those two shows, they did 13 songs each one, and the set list was completely different. So obviously that was a huge, huge stage and the backdrop for that, they didn't have all their amazing kind of like models and loads of different stuff in that one. They had three massive screens at the back which moved together so they had, um, when all three of them on the stage they could have the close-ups of all three girls on the screen so it was like the three girls and then the big three girls right at the back. And the screens um, moved as well so they could be separated or go forward or go back and they get together so then they can show like this amazing like full screen which is so cool from what I've seen. The five Fox Festivals were a much smaller venue which is roughly, they did like two or three different venues for that one. It was about roughly 2,000 capacity each one. And they only did 10 songs in each of those concerts, all completely different set lists as well. So it's quite a small set list, and compare, just, just compare it to the Wembley set list, which is 16 songs. Amazing, best show ever. What I find so interesting about these ones is the fact that they've separated the genders and have a dress code for these uh, concerts. I've never ever seen anything like this in any other country apart from Japan and they have done this before. They've had a um, red mass, black mass and white mass um, concerts in Japan before. So that was males, females and then the corpse paint. So I, I've seen a few videos of them and they're just amazing. So they have done it before. What festival attracts me the most is the Red Fox Festival. I've never ever heard of an all-female concert before. I so desperate to go. Oh my god, it looked so, so good. I, I know some fellow Megatsunes who've been and they just absolutely loved it. Um, it must be so empowering to perform in front of all women. Absolutely amazing for those three girls especially. Uh, just seeing their faces light up when they're cheering, when they're just sort of singing back is just amazing. Now just listen to the crowd. So 
So all of these shows put together, they played no new songs, <laughs> which was quite disappointing, but 2017 was a weird year for baby metal. It, it was very, um, it was, they supported loads of bands and then they obviously did these shows in Japan, so they didn't really play any headline shows apart from the Playdom in LA, which was very random, but awesome for LA people. Okay, now I'm going to open the box and see what's in there. I am armed and ready, all right. <laughs> okay, I am in. Ta -da! <gasps> oh, I must get it out carefully. I must get it out carefully. All right, here we go. <laughs> immaculate wow I can't believe honestly I can't believe I actually have this in my possession I was I'm an ahhing about it because it is really expensive um I let you just have a look and see how much it is um plus because of the postage to get it to England as well was a lot and the customs which I didn't pay for <laughs> oh it's that lovely oh so soft I can't believe I have it. Look at these. I love that they've done Blu-ray as well. They just, I, don't, I never buy DVDs anymore, let's be honest. Okay, so the box itself is so smooth and soft. It just reminds me of my Wembley um, DVDs and audio CD that I got a couple years ago. So it's got that awesome Illustration on the front and it says Baby Metal, the Fox Festivals in Japan 2017, the Five Fox Festival and Big Fox Festival. Now because there was two Big Fox Festivals they only um, recorded one which is the one in Osaka. So the thing that's caught my eye first of all is the Baby Metal logo all coming together right at the bottom there. So cool! Okay right I'm gonna open them out now. Um, a lot of people said because of the price of this they um, that there should have been something else in the box. The thing is, it's not like in the one limited edition, like big, huge box set that they normally do, like for Wembley or Tokyo Dome. This is just the Blu-rays, so it was it was a lot of money. But, oh, wow, the box. Now I'm gonna get all my dirty fingerprints on it now. Oh no. Oh God, even the front's so cool. So I'm gonna go for, right, this is the first one, the Black Fox Festival. So I'm gonna open this up, have a look. Cause apparently there's some cards inside. Ooh. So the mask for this was the red and black one. Cool, right. I'm gonna open up and see what's inside in here. So we have the booklet. So the booklet is only just one page, that's it, and it's got the set list on there in Japanese. Because on the back, no, that is on Japanese as well on the back, some of it is. It also comes with a little card, a sealed card, which makes it very, very official. So it's got three girls and some of the audience there as well. So the next one we have is my favourite, the Red Fox Festival, and that is the red and white mask. Well, let's open it up. I get this one out first. The discs are really cool as well. So it's got the set list inside. Ugh, wow. Look at the, like the repeated masks there. So cool. So the card is, oh, it's so sweet. So it's all three girls and loads of the audience are just throwing up their kitsunes. Absolutely stunning. And it's got like the writing, what festival it is and the dates and the venue, which is really cool. And it's just got baby metal on the back. Assuming that's what they have on all of them. Next is the gold festival, which is for teenagers. So that's gold and red on the mask. Ha ha. What's in the booklet? <gasps> so cool. That's awesome. So they're all gonna be like that. And the card is, oh. <laughs> this gets better. So you've got three girls there, just all close together, just staring at that awesome audience. This is so cool. Do you know what? I probably will never get it out of the package and it'll probably stay in the in the case. 
This is too nice. Next is a Silver Fox Festival for elementary school kids and people over 60. Open it up. Do you know, I've not even seen the, the actual pictures of these yet. I've seen someone post it and I'm just like, I just skip through it because I want to see it for myself. So there's the inside and oh, they're in their wand costumes. Oh, I love the silver, the wand costumes, it's so cool. And you've got some Kitsune there as well. That is so awesome. That last of the five fox festivals is the White Fox Festival. Oh, the, the disc is so cool. That mask is so effective. Open it up. Yep, yeah, same one. <gasps> wow. Oh, they've done this before. They've done this on another um, White Mask show they've done. They've taken a picture of the audience of everyone doing this with their face paint on. Absolutely amazing. Look at that. I can't get over how cool that is. Imagine if you were there, you, you could obviously see yourself because the picture's so clear and they're all wearing, or apart from the middle guy, he's wearing a white t-shirt, they're all wearing baby metal t-shirts, it's so cool. I've got no idea what the Five Fox Festival picture is, so I'm gonna open it up now. Mm. Ah. Oh, even the back, because the backs of you have got the mask, on the back of these they've got the five, the gates at the back, wow, look at the gates. Just gazing at a Blu-ray. <laughs> oh, let's have a look. Okay, right, I'm not gonna have a look. Oh yes, it's got the gates there in front on the middle of the page. Oh, oh this is so cool. So there's a picture of the stage, which is cool for you to see. Looks like they're doing May either karate or road to resistance because it's the whoa or um whoa 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 <laughs> they do a lot of whoa woes. Oh, I got to put them back in order. Can't not have them in the right place. Absolutely whoa! I put them in the wrong order. <laughs> Damn it. How did I mess that up? <laughs> yeah, there you go, the baby metal sign lines up now. Okay, I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. I haven't done an unboxing of anything baby metal related in ages. As I said at the beginning of this video, I have watched some of these online because obviously I haven't opened it yet and haven't physically watched these ones. I just watched them on um, <clears throat> Daily Motion. <clears throat> um, the or from their uploads, the even though the quality isn't going to be amazing as watching it on the TV, but it looks amazing, like there's so many different camera angles, the sound is really good. A lot of people on Reddit have said that they would pay that much money and not have all the extra stuff to go with it, as long as the sound and the quality of the Blu-ray is really good. And I can say it is really good. You st I think you can still get it, you, but you have to be a part, uh, you have to be the one member to, in order to buy it. So you can get it if you want to, but be prepared to spend loads of money on shipping and customs. But yeah, it's, it's baby metal, we buy it. So thank you so much for watching everybody and I will see you in the next video.